AP, wake up. Vance Priggy, uh, 22 years old. I'm from Anchorage, Alaska originally. Uh, moved out here to Phoenix uh, last December. Hot ass fucking Phoenix. Hot ass Phoenix. A little bit of a fucking change <laughs> of pace going from cold ass Alaska to here, but right? getting used to it. Okay. Um, just couldn't. Uh, couldn't stay in Alaska yeah, any longer. Dude, you know, huh? So I got, my, <laughs> I got my bike and I started really getting into it pretty heavy and. Uh, it came down to three, four months out of the year just not being able enough. Yeah. So how was time. how was the uh, the Alaska scene? Is there a lot of a lot of riders up there? What's good? So um, go back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I, I got my bike. I got my Dyna because my brother uh, he has a, a street bob. Oh, okay. Um, and he had that for a few years before I got my bike. Uh, I had a stand up jet ski. I wasn't riding too much. And my brother was like, "Sell that thing. Get a Harley." So yeah. I was like, All right. Uh, came across this thing on Craigslist uh, about a month or so later, probably. Uh, 05 Lowrider EFI. Okay. Uh, you know, 88 five speed, no god. Yep. You know the deal. Um, I got that. I rode it for that first, you know, three quarters to half of the summer. Mm -hmm. Just got used to it. Didn't really plan on doing anything crazy, no wheelies or anything like right. that. Uh, next year rolls around. Um, so I bought the bike. It came with some 13 and a half inch shocks, you know, bars, risers came with a good amount of shit to set it up yep so i got to ride a pretty decent bike around and figure it out mm -hmm. and uh that next summer rolls around and our buddy chase crab uh he's named sideways on instagram yep yep killer dude's an animal yeah so i grew up right on the corner from that dude him and my brother were really good friends okay yeah. sick so that's how you guys know yeah, each other so right up, on you know he had a little 110 track in his yard so me and my brother would get home from school, hop on our pit bikes, roll over there. Fuck yeah. Shred that for a little while. Hell yeah. Um, so he kind of bought his Lowrider S in secret. Mm -hmm. Didn't really tell anybody. Uh, first time ready for everybody really popped out that summer. He rolls up on that thing. And he had been practicing wheelies and a little bit of drifting. So On the low? On the low. <laughs> on so the low. We, we pull out from the, where we met up and get the first straight road we hit. Chase fucking pulls it up. And that kind of, you know, I always followed, you know, unknown, yeah, you, know, you yep. and all the other guys for, yeah, yeah. for a few years. And I just never really saw myself doing that, you know. Yep. I was like, fuck that shit. <laughs> and so the first couple of times I saw Chase start pulling it up, um, I was like, I could do this. Yeah. You know, I got, Definitely. Enough, I got enough two wheel experience. Right, yeah. This thing, just getting used to it for long enough to where I, I got a pretty good hold on it. Right. And, uh, but I could never really fuck. I never had blocks on, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything like that. I could never really do wheelies. So this was actually what I learned to do wheelies on. That's gnarly, dude. Yeah. It's always gnarly meeting someone that learned wheelies yeah. on a Harley. I mean, I had, <laughs> you know, I've been on two wheels pretty much my whole life. Yeah, for sure. Dad had me on a PW50 with no training wheels before I could yep. even ride a bicycle. So yep. I've been on them. I just never really, you know, my mom didn't like them when I was getting older. So kind of steered me away from it. Yeah, of course. I grew up on snowmobiles, snow machines, what we call them. Yep. So we raced those. We we rode those all winter long, which was our longest season up there. So you can ride those things most of the time from you know October, November all the way into right. Winter. Yeah. So it's pretty sick being up there. You know, in the mountains, you got your shirt off. It's sixty degrees, and you're building booters with everything. Yeah, that is so pretty sick. That was cool. And then you know, so I saw Chase doing that shit. And I started practicing. It took me pretty much that whole entire summer to even get the front wheel off the ground. Yeah, yeah. Um, September, October roll in. And that's when I started, I could carry it. You know, I had balance point. Yep. I was dragging my stock fender off. and uh, Sick. And then it snowed. So <laughs> then it was back to snow machines. This thing got stuffed in the back corner of my shop with, with everybody else's shit. And uh, it was back to snow machines. And then the next year I uh, came out, my brother painted this thing. Uh, it's the same color as my Sierra. If anybody's seen that thing, I hold this thing. Yeah, if you follow this guy, you definitely know his truck, too. Uh, Things clean. So it was originally red, had some gold pinstriping. We painted it blue. Uh, had the pinstripes hand done by a guy in Anchorage. Sick, sick. Um, got the decals off Instagram. Yeah, this thing's thing. fucking clean. Um, so my brother, you know, spent hours on this thing. Probably 20 hours getting this thing dialed in. Yeah. Uh, just stupid amount of clear to cover the pinstripes and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and I had chopped my fender before I had it painted so it was all nice and then I wanted to go deeper so I cut it again. Yeah, of course, that's how it always yeah, goes. <laughs> so the fender was done by me and I built this craft bar. Nice, dude. Um, I made this quick release bracket for the T-Sport fairing. Clean? Um, nothing special, but I just didn't want to be able to, you know, because it was such a bitch, the bracket that came with this and I wanted yeah, to pop it on and off. And definitely. Getting into Paul's van, I have to take it off so it works out pretty good. Right. Um, other than that, dude, I painted it. It's got a fork brace, fairing, hard case risers, uh, MX bars. Controls are fucking zip tied in there. Nice. Seven eighths on both sides, throttle tube, elite levers. Clean. Uh, a good old dirt bike setup. Yeah, dude. Gotta I love, love it. I love the thin bars. Gotta there. love it. Yeah. Um, the Saddleman seat I had recovered by a buddy in Alaska because it was brown. Oh, nice. Um, it's got a chain kit. Rivera Primo clutch, some foot pegs, a shifter. Yep. Other than that, not much. Um, Hell yeah, dude. This, this thing's fucking clean. Yeah, it's got some nine spokes on it with tapered bearings. That was kind of a bitch. My rear wheel is literally sideways right now <laughs> if you want to zoom in on over here. Yeah, dude. let's check her out. Let's check her out. Check out the parallel between the sprocket and the swing arm. Pretty oh, nice. Yeah. Looking good. So, we've gone through about four axles on this thing. Just fucking things in there. Hell yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite it. thing to do on that thing? Um, you know, I haven't gotten into, like, hand drags or anything. That's definitely, like, top of my list of what I want to get down. Accomplish, yeah. Yeah, my steering stops are broken, so I need to get that. Like your out. boy. Yeah. Um, but drifting is too yeah. addictive, you know. Yeah, I, it's bad. When I could, before I could drift, like, I moved down here Christmas time. I got my bike ship, my truck ship, all my shit. Mm -hmm. And then me and uh, Tyler Briley, he moved down here as well. Yeah. Alaska, and so did Paul over there. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were at just a lot every fucking day this winter and me and tyler that's where we learned how to drift we yeah just, we were just back and forth progressing and and feeding off each other and shit and yeah we came I was, into it about as even skill level as yeah, it could be and for sure and now we're both pretty decent yeah no it was awesome to watch you guys uh progress like yeah. through your videos on insta and shit yeah, and i mean if i was still in alaska dude i'd be we would be yeah just doing not, not the four Marley's. three four yeah. months yeah, yeah. out so of the that year was, that was a bitch dude like the first year that I got wheelies down, I uh, got it down right before winter hit, and then I fucking came out, you know, did a bunch of shit to my bike. That's when I painted it and all the other shit. Yep. Um, and so it was a little different, and I just started from fucking nothing again, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then right before I moved here that last fall, um, I kind of started whipping it around a little bit up there and did a couple drifts, got fucking bucked off my bike a <laughs> times. And, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, now we've just been riding. At, you know, oh yeah, dude! Trying to figure it out. Staying in AZ, yeah, getting it I'm, done. I'm enjoying it. It's a little warm, but just as fast as I thought. So hell yeah, dude! Well, we're loving it. Hell yeah, it was a good interview. Good interview. That was solid. Put this up on the old YouTube. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Yeah, follow Check this dude on out. Instagram. Check him out. I'll put his little, you know, his little thing down here. A deal. Yeah, a little deal down there in the corner. Yeah. Um, but yeah. See you guys next time. Wait. Wait. Yo, AP, wake up.